Hi everyone, welcome back to Our Urban Homestead. My name is Chelsea and I am a urban homesteader here in Michigan. If you've seen my previous video, you know that I am making bread bowls with our dinner tonight. So I thought I would go ahead and show y'all how I'm gonna get that done. You'll have to excuse the views for right now. Uh, my camera stand broke. It's on my to-do list this weekend. My oven is preheated. So let's get going. Just gonna go to the fridge and get out my bowl of bread dough. I make a big batch of bread dough. Um, as I said in my earlier video, I just pull from this. I make bread every day during um, the cooler months, which in the Midwest, it is very cold right now. And tonight is bread bowls. So I'm gonna use what I have here. And then after this video, I'll be making another batch to put in the fridge because it does need eight hours of chilling time before you can use it. I will post the recipe in the comments below if anyone is interested. First, I'm gonna apologize again for the view. I used to have a camera stand and you could see like everything I was doing, but what are you gonna do? All right, so I've got some flour down here. This is a no need bread recipe look at that spongy goodness so I got quite a bit of the things that I wanted to do today done I did not get all of my baking done um I got Chex Mix, the truffles, the dipped pretzels, and scotchies done. Uh, so this weekend, our daughter and I will be doing like the puppy chow and the spritz cookies and the rest of the things that were on the list. Now this bread, since it's no need, is not going to be like your normal bread. Uh, bread. It's not going to feel like your normal bread dough. It's going to be a little bit tacky and that's honestly what you want. My oven is preheated um, to 425 and I already have some flour down. I'm just going to flip it over, give that a good rub and then we're going to give this a cut into fours. So what you want to do if you want a really nice loaf of artisan bread is you want to tuck everything under. So you have a nice hot surface you can you can use this to like push and pull it if you want I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar I use it all the time great great tool to have in the kitchen all right so there is one little bread bowl we're gonna set these out for 40 minutes before we put them in the oven. That way it can come to room temperature, give a nice, another little rise to it, and I'll show you what to do after I get the rest of these done. So again, you're just rolling and pulling this onto itself so you get that tension on the bread. This 
honestly is one of my favorite times of the year. I love Christmas. I love everything about Christmas. The smells, just like the feeling, you know. I'm a big sucker for Christmas. My Christmas tree has been up for, well, it's a little embarrassing. I won't tell you for how long my Christmas tree has been up for. Before Thanksgiving, that's all I'll say. So again, you don't need a bench knife or this little Dollar Tree tool. You can just do it with your hands. You just want to pull it all underneath itself. All right, I'm going to get a knife so I can score this. So with my bread bowls, let's see if I can make this so where we can see each other. That's a little bit better. So for my bread bowls, I like to just do um, an X on them. That way, when it rises and then it goes into the oven, it has somewhere to rise and it doesn't just like look all cracked and um, not very pretty. You eat with your eyes first, right? All right, last one. I don't have a bread lame. I just use um, a regular little knife that I have in my kitchen. All right, I'm gonna give my hands a quick rinse. Now, when I go to bake this, like I said, these need to sit out for about 40 minutes so they can come up to room temperature. Normally, when I do just a loaf of the bread, I do it in my um, cast iron Dutch oven. But because I'm doing bread bowls, I can't do four of them, and I really don't want to spend four hours in the kitchen baking bread bowls. So here's a little trick that I do. I just have a regular baking sheet lined with parchment. Gonna put our bread onto here. And then, like I said, this is gonna rise, or you're gonna let this come to room temperature for 40 minutes. But before I stick them into the oven, here's my hack. So, big roaster pan. Um, I think this is my 24 quart one. I'm just gonna stick this on top because you really do want some steam and you want the heat to be able to envelop and yeah, envelop the, uh, the bread. So I'll stick this in the oven after 40 minutes with this on it and those will bake at 425 for about 20 minutes or so. And it's that easy. Um, if you do want the recipe to this bread, I will leave it in the comments below. I keep it in the fridge all the time. It's super easy. It takes like maybe 10 minutes hands on. It does need overnight to chill in the fridge and then you can just pull from it and use it on a daily basis. It's very simple and just a nice thing to have on hand. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do. 
And until next time, I'll see y'all later.